The Texas A&M University Commission on Diversity, Equity and Inclusion presented their recommendations to the Board of Regents Monday evening. Commission discussions found that although the six campus core values are well known, they're not clearly defined, lived or understood throughout the campus community. While Texas A&M continues inching closer to becoming a Hispanic-serving institution, former President Michael Young's 45-person commission found Texas A&M falls short in matching the state's demographic population. It's about time that um, this acknowledgement has come in terms of the growth of the Latino student population. Um, we've known it. I think a lot of people have known it on campus for a long time. And so to be able to acknowledge it in such a public way and then commit dollars to it, I think is significant. Laid out in the $25 million plan includes expanding the student pipeline, increasing the Regent Scholar Program and national recognition scholarships, establish pathways to doctorate fellowships, grow ACES fellow faculty program, and recognize Aggies leading by example in success of former students of color. Some Texas A&M faculty members say they remain cautiously optimistic that the plan will foster a change of culture on A&M's campus. And I do believe that their hearts are in the right place in terms of moving this forward. But reports that come out of institutions should always be met with some form of skepticism. We should always be cautiously optimistic about them. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm a big believer that um, as long as you got the right uh, people that are at the table and are having these conversations, which I think we do, um, that, that there is hope that these conversations will move forward. Elizabeth Barnes, a senior at Texas A&M University and College Station, says after reading the commission's findings, she is happy with the recommendations accepted by the Board of Regents, but says it's lacking a clear timeline. I would love to see a timeline placed on some of those actions so we know exactly when these things are coming and so they don't just get phased out over time. Barton says she hopes the university begins to realize it is made better by having diversity on campus brought together by the Aggie core values. So I really want A&M to look at its campus culture and evaluate how we can take more aggressive steps to make sure that all types of people can thrive, will excel here, and feel like they are a part of the Aggie community. University leaders ensure the recommendations accepted by the Board of Regents Monday is the first step in addressing diversity at Texas A&M. Reporting in College Station, Hallie Jones, 25 News.